Hey, hey, good morning. Welcome to another move sesh. I got some new moves for us planned today. It's just I guess I gotta try to remember them. That's gonna be the tricky part. Can I remember them? I I think there's too many and let's see if we can remember, if I can remember some of them. Okay, so let's get started with our warm-up here. I left the heater on overnight. It's pretty nice in here today. <laughs> I didn't even need my sweatshirt to get started. I almost wore shorts. <laughs> All right, as we get going, hey, hey, say hi as you're jumping on. Starting with nice, easy twists, loosening up the spine, loosening up the hips, bringing some blood flow to the muscles, slowly, gradually increasing the heart rate and increasing that blood flow to the working muscles. Well, they're not working yet, but they're gonna be. <laughs> but today we're working on kind of like you know, I have a system for us now um, on Tuesdays, just for those of you who maybe want to plan. I know some of you just do two of the sessions per week. Um, Tuesdays are always like leg day. We focus on building strength um, in the legs. So we work on kind of more a combination of compound movements, right? To really target the muscles and build the strength like we were talking about yesterday. like to if, if weight loss is your goal or or even if just improved body composition is your goal um you want more muscle <laughs> ladies we want more lean body tissue right that lean body tissue is like stoking the metabolic fire right it's like having a it's like think about it this way think about having a oh my god my analogies kill me sometimes i'm like picturing an, an actual fire right, that just has a bunch of soft, <laughs> you know, loose, wet wood versus nice, like, solid <laughs> logs that are going to just burn. Okay, that was terrible. Anyways, so, but the point is, we want lean body tissue. We want to be strong. We don't want to be frail and weak. We don't want to be soft and squishy. We want to be solid and strong and lean, right? And so, um, Tuesdays, uh, we focus more on strength in the lower body, whether it's the bigger muscles, always focusing on the bigger muscles because you know what, when you target the bigger muscles, you get more bang for your buck. Um, and also in my, my personal opinion is our bodies don't move, like our muscles never work alone, right? They're always working together. So when we're working out, it's, I think it's really important to work muscles in a, in a way where they have to co uh, cooperate to get the job done because that's what life is, right? Um, and then Tuesday, uh, Wednesdays, we do the same thing, same strategy, but upper body. So we're working on building that lean body tissue. I'm always going to encourage you to go as heavy as, as you're ready for at this time. Now, like, if you're just starting, if, if you've just begun to join me or just begun a, a workout program you know the caveat to that is you got to work your way into that and i'll remind you those of you who are, have been with me um know that january i started back in here right so i was doing the workouts but then i i stopped in december and i wasn't really you know it's like anything <laughs> you can you can do it or you can do it I wasn't really doing it. I was showing up and going through the motions and uh, January, um, I had to ease back into it. So I did not use weights or very heavy weights for the first few sessions, couple weeks, right? And then as, as I adjusted, okay, I'm adding a hop here, you guys. If you wanna add the hop, great. If you wanna keep it at low impact, whatever's right for you. Um, you just modify for where you're at today. Don't, don't try to jump ahead. Okay, so I just want to remind you, um, like, where I've come from. Like, I wasn't working out in December because I was doing a running challenge. Um, and I, I was struggling to do both. And so I, my, my goal was the running challenge, so I focused on that. Well, that meant, you know, I had to start over in January in here. And I had to start from the beginning, guys, with low or no weights and, and modify stuff. Well, at least some of you guys who didn't take a hiatus would have been ahead of me. And, you know, as you know, it's like, what, six weeks later, 
I'm all in again, okay? So give yourself grace for wherever you're at today. Um, I, I have an important lesson or message I want to share with you guys today about our self-image, but I'll come back to that um, because I was in the middle of telling you <laughs> Tuesdays is like day, <clears throat> Wednesdays is upper body day, and Thursdays is always Tabata, but we, we move around whatever I feel like I want to work on that week. So this week, what I want to work on is glutes, inner outer thighs, accessory groups of muscles. So on Tuesdays, we work, and Wednesdays, we work the larger muscle groups, we work the main muscle groups. On Thursdays, we do, sometimes we do cardio, uh, not usually too much cardio, because I got tons of cardio in my life, and honestly, you guys, cardio is great. Nothing wrong with cardio, but I know what you guys need is not cardio. <laughs> um, we do, sometimes we do core, but basically we're doing kind of uh, more fine tuning type work on Thursdays. So it's just as important as, to, as sorry, Thursdays, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. But if you have to skip one and you're just starting, I would probably say skip Thursdays. So if you can only do two workouts a week, do the Tuesday, Wednesdays. Thursdays is kind of like, oh, I can't, I can think of the concept in my head, but I can't think of a word. It's just like that kind of, it's the icing on the cake, so to speak, right? It's really pulling everything together. So it's not that it's not important. It's very important, but you know, you, you can't do that instead of the other things, right? Like you gotta do the big, the big work first. It's like putting the roof on. <laughs> it's putting the roof on the house, right? But you can't put the roof on the house if you haven't built the foundation or the walls. And to that, to that point, um, if you haven't built the foundation first, you can't do, you know, the harder stuff that we might be doing in here. And, and I do my best to always offer modifications for you. The easiest one is take out all jumps, right? You can do low impact. Um, so anything I'm doing that involves a jump, take out the jump and modify. You have to build the foundation first. Sometimes the foundation is physical. Sometimes the foundation, often, the foundation is mental. And what I mean by that is you have to engage your mind into, like you have two, two components to your mind, right? You have your um, subconscious and conscious mind. Well, your subconscious mind is in charge. It doesn't really matter what your conscious mind says. Um, your conscious mind is your reasoning mind, your, your mind that's like logical and saying, hey, like, look, you really need to work out because la 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 la. Your subconscious mind is the, is the dirty lawyer. <laughs> my, my sister's a lawyer, so I have nothing against lawyers. But your subconscious mind is the, is the dirty defense lawyer that's going to get you out of it, right? And um, that... Our, our, we all have like a we all have a dirty defense lawyer within us and that dirty defense lawyer is like top notch like does not lose a case right like almost never like has like a 99% win record in their career and so your conscious mind the prosecutor is doomed <laughs> if if he's not on his game she's not on her game right so but but she she really the the defense, the dirty defense lawyer is always going to win. So you need to work on that subconscious mind and you need to reprogram it. The, the thing about the subconscious mind is it, it has no, um, it has to accept whatever you put in it. Like, like it actually cannot reject what you put in it. The problem is we put a bunch of garbage into our subconscious mind based on our beliefs, our biases, our circumstances, you know, our life experiences, whatever it is, we put a bunch of garbage into that subconscious mind. And we, it's like, you gotta reboot it like your computer. Every now and then you gotta clear the cache. Is that the word? <laughs> clear the cookies. You gotta clear the cookies 
from your unconscious mind, your, your subconscious mind, and you got to get the, the crappy thoughts out of there, right? And replace them with the thoughts that you want. Um, because it, it cannot reject, you know, whatever thoughts that you decide to put into it. So that's a good analogy. I like that one today, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm liking that one a lot. I hope nobody's offended by my dirty defense lawyer um, <laughs> comparison. But ultimately, ultimately what we don't realize is we're actually we're actually kind of in, there's a judge. I guess that would be the judge. The judge is in control of the dirty defense lawyer at the end of the day. Like you have that choice. Okay, so we're gonna start. So like I said, we're working on some kind of unique accessory type muscles. We're gonna start with these guys today. Now, if if this movement is, is not within your wheelhouse yet because of knee issues, you can just do shorter ones or side squats, okay? You can do this with or without a weight. I am going to grab, I'm not going to do a weight today because I'm looking for a different type of challenge. Okay, ready? Okay, so we're stepping to the side all the way down. Chest is up, so you can even put your hands behind your head to make sure that chest stays up. And you wanna make sure that that knee is staying back from the toes. Okay, nice straight feet. What we're doing is we're working on mobility, uh, flexibility through through mobility, and hip, hip strength today. Hip and glute and core strength is the strategy today. Um, we're gonna do hopefully some new things if I if I can remember what they are. <laughs> I've had these saved in my in my inbox to try, and I was like, this is the week we're gonna try them. Um, so I want to circle back. That actually all tied together really nicely because I want to circle back to our self-image, our, our our personal self. Like, how do you? What do you think of yourself? And here's here's what you need to understand is you will never outperform or out. Um, what's the word? Achieve your self-image. You never will. Like your, your, your glass ceiling, so to speak, as they say in the, in the business world, is your self-image. So let me give you an example. If you, let's say you start, let's say, okay, I'm going to give you, I'm trying to think of a really good example. Here's a good example. You want to, you want to quit drinking, okay? This is a, a, something kind of near and dear on my heart right now. So you want to, you want to quit drinking, but your self-image is... Um, I'm a wine drinker, I love wine. Um, I have wine when I go out for dinner. Um, if I'm at a social gathering, I'm gonna have wine. People know I love red wine. If somebody were to buy me a gift, you know, there's a good chance they might buy me a nice bottle of red wine, okay? Because that is part of my identity. I, I, associate, or I see myself as a wine drinker. Okay, how else do I see myself? I see myself as a runner. Everybody knows that I run, right? I, right, I run long, I run far, I run trails. Everybody knows that I run. Um, how else do I see myself? Uh, I see myself as, you know, a, a health, a health um, enthusiast, right? I'm very interested in living my healthiest and best life. Okay, now, um, I love fries. <laughs> I absolutely love fries, you guys. Like my, the the family, the kids, and my husband had pizza last weekend. So we used to last year have pizza every Friday night. That was the Friday night ritual. Well, Chris gave up bread for January, bread product, anything bread related. So that or for January, yeah. So that <laughs> meant no pizza on Friday nights. I was doing best me. <laughs> Pizza, you can have pizza on Best Me, but I don't even know how many points that would be. Um, it, would, it wouldn't be an optimal choice, as Jen says. So we omitted pizza. Uh, the kids were like, are we ever gonna have pizza again? They were so sad. Um, well, last weekend, we got pizza. What was my point of all of this? Um, 
<laughs> I totally lost my, my, my point, but oh, I know what it is. Well, we would often have fries with the pizza. Um, I, can, I can have or give up pizza. Pizza's not really that important to me. The fries, <laughs> fries are like putting crack in front of a drug addict. Like for me, fries are my kryptonite. Chips, wine, you know, we all have these things that we especially, especially like, right? That's mine. Um, okay, so next up we're gonna do uh, 747s. So we're gonna go down and up. I'm gonna try using a weight. Now, if you're just starting 747s, I was talking to Linda about this, I've worked for, you guys know, literally years since we started doing these classes. Um, this is the way that you'll wanna do them. Okay, if you're beginning or I'm trying to think of an easier way. Um, you can hold a wall, have your hand against a wall. Um, they're hard, they're hard. I, I've been working on these for months and months and months. All right, so let's go. So where's my weights? Use these guys today. All right, ready? Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this though. Hang on. be tricky. Right, so we're down and up. Down and up. Okay, you guys, I've been working on these for... Oh, see, and I still fall. Um, so what is the point? Now picture we all have a friend we know who does not drink. Like, actually, I thought it was ironic that my two probably closest friends or, or friends that I spend the most time with, which is my friends that I run with every morning, they don't drink. Not funny. I'm the drinker of the three of us. They don't drink at all. My one friend used to drink quit many years ago, um, said he was basically woo, an asshole when he drank and he, he quit and he hasn't had a drink since. Uh, my other friend, she just doesn't really care for it. She just doesn't drink. So then, so I would, I would say their identity is as a non-drinker. Now think about a non-drinker that's at a social event. Think about the identity or the self-image they have. They're, they're not concerned with whether they're going to drink or not. They don't drink. They're not just figuring out how they're gonna explain to people. They're gonna say, I don't drink. I'm, I, I just, I'm not a drinker, I just don't drink. They're not going to feel the pressure to drink when everybody else is drinking because they don't drink. That's their self-image. Now, if that is your self, so if you're trying to quit alcohol, um, you know, one of the things is you have to change your identity and not become a drinker that's abstaining, but become a non-drinker, right? If you're trying to become you know, healthy and fit and strong, um, you become, you look to people who that is in your mind and theirs, their identity, right? You can change your identity at any time to anything, right? We identify with a lot of different things in our lives, none of which really are who we are. If, if we're gonna get, <laughs> philosophical, none of those things are actually who we are. Who we are is, we're just energy. We're just, um, Eckhart Tolle would say, we're awareness, right? We are, you know, the, the best way I connect to what we actually are is, is nature. When you are mesmerized by a sunset on the drive home or in the morning, or you're in the woods and you're just kind of lost in the feelings of nature, that is truth right there, right? 
I sound like a sermon. It sounds like a sermon right now, but truth is not your job. That's who, how we identify who we are because we feel the need to define who we are, if that makes sense. Like, I think one of the hardest things as a human is to just be. You know, when someone says, tell me about yourself, well, what we do is we explain our hobbies, our, you know, our career, our profession, what we do in life, right? That's not, that's not what we are. Um, okay. I'm trying to remember the exercises now. That was one of them. You're, we're going to need a bench or the floor. I'm going to do these on the bench. You guys can do them on the floor if you don't have a bench. I have a bench, so I'm going to try them on the bench. Actually, you know what? We're going to start with... We're, doing, we're going to do split squats. So if you're new, you're going to do split squats like this. Okay? This is the easiest form. If you are been with me for a while, you can do split squats like this. I'm going to do deadlift split squats. Look at me doing split squats twice in one week, you guys. In case you're not sure, I'm on a mission. <laughs> I was joking that I'm going to be the dark horse. When, when I show up at Hard Rock, they're going to be like, who's that? Who is that chick? Uh, okay, that's not going to work. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I don't even know if I'm doing these right. I'm like... switch sides. Sorry, I'm going to look at the camera. I don't have a mirror. See, can I just tell you guys, I could not even put my foot like this before. Okay, these are hard. <laughs> bend my foot flat on the bench before. Just saying. There we go. That feels better. So you want to make sure that knee is tracking at a 90 degree angle <laughs> and that you have something to grab onto if you need balance. That side kind of sucked. Really feeling these in the core, which is perfect. I'm trying to do, I'm working my way up to a thousand core, um, but I keep losing track. So I do sets of a hundred. So my goal is to usually have 300 done before I come into here in the morning. So then I get another 100 in here and 100 after. And then I just do my extras in the evening or the afternoon. Well, I just keep banging out 100 and then I, I lose track. So I know I'm over 500 for the day. I don't know if I'm at 6 or 7. <laughs> um, either way, I'm my goal this week was 600. Okay, so back to self-image. So think about where you're headed right now, right? Like one of the reasons that people lose and gain weight back is because they don't adjust their self-image. They don't adjust how they see themselves. So the reason Two more. The reason this conversation is coming up is because I was talking to a client yesterday who 
is terrified of getting on the scale, which I get. Um, I'll be honest with you guys. Let me tell you a little bit about my own personal self-image story. So you guys know I'm a personal trainer and I'm an ultra runner and I have a reputation <laughs> um, amongst, we all do, right? We all have not just a self-image. I guess, what is that saying? There's three versions of you. There's the version you think you are. There's the version other people think you are. And then there's the real version. I don't know if that's a saying or if I just made that up. Maybe I just made that up. All right. That's it for those. Oh boy, I'm feeling those. I have a big, my big hill work here tomorrow. I'm gonna regret doing all this leg stuff. Anyway, I guess probably if I were to guess, my reputation, this is going back prior to COVID. Actually, I would say a few years prior to COVID. So this is my, this month is my fifth year anniversary with Modair, is February. Um, so I've been with Modair for five years. Okay, I'm gonna show you what we're doing next. Now you can do this on the floor. So you're just gonna be laying on the floor. You can use a ball or you can use a bench. Okay, so we're up. Now I want you to notice that my back is not flat. My back is up. Okay, and we're gonna be doing marches. This is the advanced version, what I'm doing right now. I was gonna hold a weight. Um, that's the advanced version. The new, if you're new, you're gonna be like this. Up, up, another, this would be the second, okay? Probably that's the one I should be doing. I'm not sure I'm quite ready for these advanced ones yet, but I'm gonna give them a try. Okay, so pick the one that's appropriate for you. Don't overreach, right? Like, like learn my lesson with the 30 pound ball. Once I lifted the 30 pound ball, I couldn't stop. So you don't wanna to rush to the 30 pound ball. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm gonna try just a lightweight. I feel like it might help balance me. Okay, so you're... Lifting, lifting. This is gonna really work your glutes, your core, your lower back. You, want, you really want that core pulled in because if it's not, you're gonna feel it in your lower back. Lifting, get your balance in between. Remember, you can do these the other two ways I showed you. Don't overreach, because once you do it the hard way, you don't wanna digress, so you're better to take it slowly. Um, Anyways, okay, so back, you know, I was probably considered a bit of a badass. Um, I was, I was training really hard. Like life, like my life evolved around like running and training, honestly. So I was a personal trainer, so I was training other people. I was teaching classes, you know, but I inspired through probably my own endeavors and lifestyle. And you guys have kind of heard me talk before with a story that I lost myself somewhere. I couldn't, per I couldn't perform. Like I, I couldn't train and I kept trying for a few years. I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. And I, I lost all my confidence. And why did I lose my confidence? Because my identity and self image was wrapped up in seeing myself as you know, an athlete. Now, like, let's be real. I was never a very good athlete. I, I trained like I thought I was an elite athlete, but I was really just a mid packer. I was just an average, average athlete. I was nothing special. Um, I just worked really hard, right? And that's it. But in my mind, that was who I was. Now, when I couldn't do that anymore, 
I didn't know who I was anymore. I, I felt like I lost my identity and didn't know how to define, if, if that's not who I am, then who am I now? Really feeling these in the lower back. Hoping we don't have many more of these left. Definitely wouldn't do the harder ones until you're ready, which probably I, I don't feel like I'm quite here yet. I, it will be something to work towards for sure. I have to really concentrate to pull my core in so that I'm not, it's, it's good to strengthen the lower back, but you don't want to like hurt the lower back while strengthening it prematurely. One more. Because you kind of almost need to be in a pelvic tilt for this one. Anyway, so the, the long and short of it is, that's a funny, <laughs> I lost kind of who I was. Um, so my self-image was lost. Like I couldn't, I had no identity really, I guess is what I'm sort of saying. Um, I'm trying to remember what. That was new, that was new, that was new. Oh, I remember. I remember the other one I wanted to do. This is gonna be a fun one, you guys. Don't need the bench anymore. So what I'm getting at is, you may relate to that right now if you are not in the place where, now that can go either way. You can, you can be like crushing it and you're so far from who you think you are and who other people think you are, right? So for example, you could have, you could be like me where you've given up alcohol, um, you're eating really well, Okay, so you have a weight in between your legs. Okay, Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, no, we think we need two like two weights. Two weights. You could use a dumbbell because what we're gonna do is hopefully I can remember. Okay, ready? So we're gonna lean back. We're doing over, 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 over. Other side. Over, over, over. Over. Okay. That's it. Do you guys feel those? I can feel those in the core. It's supposed to help strengthen your core and your hips. Okay? Over, 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 over. I think I'm doing them wrong, but anyways, same. Does it really matter? So you want chest up, don't forget. Don't, you want to be in a V, not a C. So you really feel these in the, in the hip flexors and the lower core. So you could be one way or the other, right? But the, the point is, if your reality and your self-image aren't the same, right? So either you are like me, I was like, I'm supposed to be this fit, you know, person who has all the health, all my health stuff figured out and, you know, I should be thriving and I should be training and, and none of that was the case. Um, and then, and then I kind of gradually let go of that side of myself, but, um, and was trying to, you know, I got into the business world, right? So that became you know my new identity for myself but i never felt aligned like i was embarrassed right because i was embarrassed to run into people i knew because it kind of slid down the slope during covid where i put on honestly i i don't know because i didn't weigh myself i was terrified of i i knew what that number should look like on the scale and i knew i was nowhere near it and so if if i was nowhere near it how far away from it was i and 
that wasn't me, right? And so I didn't want to get on that scale because I was terrified of seeing a number that I had never seen in my whole life before. Um, and my, you know, when we're terrified, we, we spin our minds and our imaginations out of control, right? And we start to visualize like the very worst case scenario, right? And in my mind, I was like, I, I totally feel like I'm not doing these the way that I saw them on the video, but anyway, I'll double check after. They're still feeling good. I mean, they're working my core, they're working my hip flexors, like nobody's business. Um, I was embarrassed to run into anybody that I knew from that part of my life because I was like, they're gonna look at me and go, holy crap, what happened to you? Like, you've gained so much weight, um, who even are you? You know, generally speaking, <laughs> most people don't care, but in my head, and so one day, and that was the day that we started these classes, or not that day, but that time period, I thought, I gotta do something. Like, I slipped so far from where I once was. I don't know who I am, and this isn't me. Um, but the reality that I had to face was that I was there. You know, like, I can't undo the fact that I spent the last three years not being the version of myself that I wanted to be. And I guess that's the point, is neither version of myself is me or not me. It was just a result of the choices I was making at that time. That doesn't change who you are. Um, at the end of the day, what, what I kind of um, chalked it up to is like, this was a time period in my life that I prioritized some different things um, that were different from the priorities that I had you know, in a different few years of my life, right? Like this particular chapter of my life, I was prioritizing um, a new set of priorities and therefore, you know, I was doing really well in one area of my life, but not in that area of my life that I felt like defined who I was. Am I making sense? So like, it can go both ways because if you have let's say given up alcohol or you have started to eat healthy and your typical friends or circles or environments that you're in are not in congruence with that you're 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 going to have this kind of conflict um both internally and outwardly because you identify yourself as that person and so if you can't you know most of my friends at this point in my life we're going to do side these guys most of my friends at this point in my life have the same values as me, the same trajectory as me. So I felt out of harmony with them, right? In fact, I didn't want to hang out with them because that's, you know, I had lost that side of me. But I, they didn't let go of me, right? Like my, my friend Kathy did not let, did not let me go. If she'd let me go, I would have gone. Um, and I, forever will be so grateful to have her for that. But we can have friends who, you know, I wanted to hang out with people that, you know, enjoy, in my mind, enjoyed life, right? Went to the pub, you know, didn't go to bed at 9.30 every night so they could get up at five, um, you know, cause that's what I wanted. So we seek out people and it's really important to seek out the people that represent where you want to be because you're, you're naturally going to be sort of, it's like, it's like a, a habitat, right? Like if, if you're a lion, you don't want to seek out like the chimpanzees to live with. You want to seek, seek out the other lions because you create like a tribe, like a, like a habitat where you feel comfortable and um, at home. You know, Mowgli was a human <laughs> hanging out with the wolves, raised by the wolves, so he had wolf tendencies because that's who he hung out with, right? Like, you know, nothing like the Jungle Book as our, <laughs> as our uh, whew, lesson of the day. Oh, these are like, I think I did, I've done too much core today. <laughs> Anyway, what I'm saying is you need to take a good 
hard look at your self-image. You need to know that whatever it is, it's wrong, regardless, because you're, we, we define and identify ourselves with very superficial things like our careers. You know, we say, I'm a teacher, I'm a nurse, you know, I'm a, I'm a mom. You, that is a role you play in life, but that is not who you are. So if you want to know more about that, you got to read Eckhart Tolle. Um, my, my suggestion would be to read the book and listen to the podcast with Oprah because they kind of talk. It's, it's pretty deep um, and complex concepts, but, you know, it makes you really think about who you actually are. And, and the good news is, you know, in that case, you can change who you are. You can change your identity anytime. You want to be a health freak and, you know, you want to be... You have this image of where you want to be. You just got to change your self-image. And your results are going to follow your self-image. Your self-image is the leader. If you get results that are out of alignment with your self-image, your self-image is going to pull you back to wherever it is that you see yourself every time, right? Um, one more. So my suggestion is redefine your self-image, right? Um, I'm working on that with regards to drinking um, because I wish to be a non-drinker, but there's a part of me that identifies with wine, as, as, as somebody who likes wine. I do like wine. It's not that I could not like wine, but my choices that I, I want to identify with, it's hard, because that, that is so deeply ingrained in our subconscious, the way we see ourselves. So anyways, thanks for listening. Unless you tuned me out, I don't blame you. Uh, have an awesome weekend, and we'll see you guys next week. Take care.